Hi, you guys. Welcome to another exciting first impression video of a big four pattern release. Um, last or week, a couple days ago, whatever it was, we got a couple new um, collections from uh, McCall's and also Nomi. So I'm going to be reviewing McCall's today, and then our next video will be the Nomi um, review. So without further ado, let's take a look at the McCall's collection. Now I'm assuming this has got to be summer, right? This has got definitely got to be summer. Um, do they even say anymore? Maybe not. Okay, well, we're going to go with summer and see what happens. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look, you can buy the catalog online. You know, the ones you find at Joanne, you can buy the whole thing. You used to be able to do that. Um, and then maybe only retailers were able to, I don't know. Is this going to be like a common new thing? Do home sellers want to own the catalog? Okay. Interesting thought. Um, the first pattern is a Mrs. Dress with sleeves and length variations. Okay. Uh, fit and flare dress with corset details, has sweetheart or V-shaped neckline, sleeveless, gathered sleeve, or strap options, narrow hem, and back invisible zipper closure. Now remember, as we go through these, McCall's is definitely the brand that is trying to attract the younger sewist. Um, more fashionable, more, you know, just lifestyle, doing things, going out, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So when you look at these and you think, oh my gosh, where would I wear that? Um, for this one, by the way, I would definitely wear all the time. This, this passes the test of what I wear to Target. Absolutely. This is so cute. Um, but just remember it is, it is skewing a little bit, you know, younger. Um, but if you are young at heart, you dress young, you, whatever, like it doesn't matter how old you are. If you like it, you like it. Um, okay. With all that said, this is a uh, freaking adorable. I'm absolutely obsessed even though I'm not really a fit and flare girl anymore, I've been saying that nonstop lately. Something about this is just so cute. I absolutely love the corset detail. Of course, I love all of this seeming so, so flattering. I've sewn dresses like this before. Um, and it really is, it really is so flattering. And honestly, for a fit and flare, it's like the most comfortable of all the options because there's no horizontal seam at the stomach. There's no waistband, there's no elastic, there's no waist seam, none of that. Um, so yeah, that's really, really cute. Um, and then you have the three sleeve options. You have the sleeved option like she's got, that will, some gathers and a little, you know, uh, under poof. <laughs> what is that called? Like an elastic thing that creates like a bubble hem. Um, you have the spaghetti strap, so classic, so like 40s kind of. And then you have this one. This one feels very, a, a little bit more mature to me. The length for sure um, gives it that vibe. But for me, I wouldn't, I'm not wearing high heels anymore. Like I would accessorize to the nines from the waist up and then throw on sneakers. That's like my new favorite vibe. Whoa, okay, look at the back. Why? why why is there why is it just a design detail there's no reason why that could be it um i'm trying to think why else because you could just unzip it i can't think of a why else but you know it's an interesting thought you would have to buy a cheaper zipper so that's good um yeah i i, I guess it's fine i can't really think of any reason to not like it but I can't really find any reasons to like love it either it's just interesting and that's fine there's a lot to be said for interesting um, the fit looks pretty good in the back I don't see any like um, drag lines for the most part something's happening here but that could just be because she was moving around I don't doesn't look like it's happening over here but yeah the shoulder placement looks good the neck opening looks nice and flat yeah really cute Okay, here's the back of the envelope. So we have recommended fabrics, cotton blends, gingham. Oh my God, the gingham. Linen and poplin. Yeah, I would also add obviously like chambray or like denim types to that. You could even do like some lightweight twills. Oh, my, cotton sateen. I mean, you could really do so, so, so much. Um, 
some portion of it, it looks like actually all of it, is lined. Why? Summer, oh, probably because all that seaming is very uncomfortable. Ew, I don't want a lined dress in the summer. Like, where we live, it's just already so hot. Um, and humid, mostly. It's the humidity of it all. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want a fully lined dress, like, maybe ever again. That's interesting. Okay, maybe like a super lightweight Batiste. All right, I'll get, I'll let you get away with that. <laughs> okay, one um, invisible zipper. Okay. Wait. It, yeah, they all need invisible zippers. Oh, I guess a, well, no, they just all need invisible zippers. They're just, I guess, recommending different lengths of them for some reason. If you have to adjust it to fit anyways, they just get a 14. Am I right? What I'm confused. Um, this is in sizes 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26. So we do have like the, um, when they offer 10 sizes, this is 10, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah. Um, you either get the 6 or the 26. So this one they've opted for the larger of the size range. All right. Finished garment measurements compared to body measurements. Um, three and a half inches of ease in the bust. That makes a decent amount of sense. You could maybe, maybe go down to two and a half. Um, you, you do have some local room there for sure. Uh, the waist has three inches of ease. That makes perfect sense. And then the skirt is really full. So yeah, that looks like everything checks out for that one, which is a good place to start. Next we have Brandy Jones' latest edition. Um, she has made this faux corset style bodysuit, um, top half cap sleeves, double bodice, V neckline and bias tape finish at the underarm. Bodysuit has snap tape closure, which I have thoughts about that. Okay. All right. So we've got a very, very, uh, early 2000s picture Victoria's Secret those kinds of vibes very hot cool chick you know what i'm saying but that is that is brandy's vibe all the dresses she's brought to us so far or all the patterns she's brought to us so far have been like that so this one has the open v um very very fitted um little baby t really but it is a um a bodysuit so on her it fits wonderfully right this seam is exactly where it needs to be there's a lot of cleavage okay so she she may not be as well endowed as you are um not that you can't make this but just know that this point is uh, at the under bust you know it's like your whole all your cleavage is going to be there which go for it super hot but don't think that because she, you're not seeing a lot of cleavage on her that miraculously you're not going to see it on you i don't know um there is an open back on this version I want to confirm if there is one on this version as well before I talk about um, the bodysuit of it all. But it is really kind of cool and cute, and I do love a bodysuit. Okay, so the back is open on both of them. So my thought about that is when you have a bodysuit, the snaps are the most annoying part, yes? I just, I don't know, the flexibility of it all, like I'm just not loving that. But if you have an open back like that, you can just step into it like a leotard. Just sew that bottom seam right up and you have a big open neckline. You have, I think the blue ones um, back only comes to here, but I think that's plenty, especially if you choose a fabric with, you know, a decent amount of stretch with, which considering how fitted this is, you'd have to do that anyways. Um, so just something to consider. Um, oh, B. Oh, okay. So the, the blue one isn't a crop top anyway. I mean, a, what is it? A bodysuit anyways. Okay, great. So you don't have to worry about that for B. And then for A, although it does kind of look like A and B's back seams are in the same place. But is this a thong? Because I don't do that. I guess it's easy enough to convert it. But the thong bodysuits, I don't get it. I don't, I don't want my shirt up my crack. 
<laughs> like, that's what it is, right? It's your clothes. It's not underwear. It's your clothes. I don't know. There's a difference to me. Um, 75% stretch. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to step into this. You do not need the snaps. Just, I mean, I guess I'm going to, that's a pretty bold statement to make to the internet with thousands of people watching, but I'm pretty confident you don't need the snaps. Um, other than that, uh, is it fold over elastic that she used for the B three yards of, a? okay. I don't know. Um, elastic, a quarter inch elastic. Um, to, yeah, mm, I don't know how she's doing the bias binding. Oh, single fold bias tape, one package of woven single fold bias tape. No, 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 no. You should be doing like fold over elastic or at most, right? Or just, I, mm, I don't know about this. This feel, mm. I think a lot of people are going to be, um, can you do a woven a package of woven bias tape yeah she's not even using like self bias I don't know about that yeah okay well and so again we have the 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 size range and then as I indicated there's going to be a ton of negative ease in this because it is so fitted um, the waist has zero ease the uh, well the top has two inches of positive, which again, that makes sense. And the waist has zero for the bodysuit. And then both of them have negative three inches of ease in the bust. So for sure, you want to follow that 75% stretch rule. Um, if your fabric does not have that much stretch, then you need to size up. Oh, look at this shirt and mini skirt. Okay, well, this is adorable. Slightly cropped, button-down shirt has collar, collar band, dropped shoulder sleeves, cuffs, and back yoke. Pair it with the mini skirt to complete the look. Pleated mini skirt has side pockets, fly front zipper with button closure, and back darts. Yas. I'm sorry, I was just kind of taking it in. So, high-waisted, mini skirt, pleated, looks like a functional fly, and then... The shirt, she's kind of you know, pulled it back on herself a lot. I want to see if there's like a normal picture. Okay. Whoa, hello. That is mini. Uh, but you have a back yoke, like she said. Drop shoulder. That's the collar. Oh, I wish she showed a picture of the front of it. I don't know, just so I could see how... I guess see how cropped it is or what it looks like when you're not like I'm not walking around the world in the world like that with one hand on my head um you know like what does it look like when you're just being normal <laughs> I love it with the socks and the loafers so cute yeah it does look like a high hip if I'm judging based on this so that would put it basically like here so not really super cropped. Some cropped jackets will stop here, which I kind of prefer, but um, that's just me. Okay, so chambray. I would pick a heavier weight chambray. Some chambrays would not work in this skirt. Cotton blends, linen, and twill. Yeah, I think what's missing here is mid-weight. I think they need to for sure indicate a mid-weight. I think... Um, if you go lightweight, your the shirt will be fine in midweight or lightweight. But I think the skirt will be a little bit uh, flimsy, let's say. Buttons and a zipper are really all you need for notions. Same size range we've seen so far. And then the top's uh, uh, ease is going to be like a lot because it's an oversized, you know, slouchy t top. Um, the hip... <laughs> The hip of the skirt, though, oh, she's saying that has like nine and a half inches of ease. That's plenty. That seems like a lot. I was going to, no, there's no way. Nine and a half. No, maybe, maybe six, but probably more like five. So that's something to check for sure. I'm not seeing how that is nine inches of ease. She, I think she made it a little bit slimmer.
for her. Because nine, because you know, when you have a little waist and then like a ton of ease on the skirt, it looks like this, like a cupcake. Um, so, you know, it has to be fitted somewhat. Um, the curvier you are, the more fitted it has to be. If you're straight, then you can you can use that kind of shaping to add to your to benefit you in terms of flattery um but you know she's a curvy curvy ish girl on the bottom so um yeah i'm not seeing nine inches of bees through here at all okay next up okay wait why did i I saw these jeans and assumed that they were, I saw them on the internet this weekend um, and assumed they were a boutique. <laughs> I love that they're a pattern. There's, oh man, I wish I had seen this before that. I swear that was like, these jeans were for sale from a boutique. Uh, okay, and it looked like the same girl with the same styling. I'm gonna try and find that. That is really, really weird, but the jeans are amazing, okay. Patchwork shorts and pants with contour waistband feature fly front zipper back darts top stitched hem and pockets views a and b have contrast panels okay so what we're going for here is kind of the the gen z trend of the fitted it's like a fit and flare pant um <laughs> fitted up through here and then it starts to flare out but it's not a straight than a flare like from the 70s it's a straight leg hip flare very it is still very retro but also more modern and these seam lines are just absolutely incredible i like these seam lines better than these i wish i could see this one in the color blocking i'd love to see the length of the short that feels interesting this is cool and fun and different for sure yeah I mean I don't see anything wrong with these maybe a little bit of dipping in the back but and maybe a little bit of a wedgie too but um, all in all yeah these are pretty sharp looking definitely funky definitely where did you get those that that's what this will incite for sure like I love your jeans where did you get them and then you get to tell someone that you made them without that without being awkward like like interjecting that information unsolicited <laughs> okay so uh chino cotton blends denim and twill for sure i agree with all of that um even in the winter you could probably do some really cool stuff with wool i don't know um some part of it is lined usually the just the pocket bags let me see how much lining interfacing I don't see lining on here I bet it's I don't see I don't see lining am I missing it I don't see it anywhere okay maybe it's me but maybe not um, a zipper and a button because you have that like you know fly front and then sizes six to 14 and then 16 to 24 so remember how i was telling you you either get the 26 or the 6 so they've opted for the 6 here or the um on the lower side end of the size chart we have bust doesn't matter the waist is 23 inches finished they're not giving us which that's not helpful especially whenever your waist and your hip are so different like i guess i'm gonna buy it based on my hip and then figure out the rest later but I don't know still would have been nice and then the hip is 32 and a half wait what two uh, yeah two and a half inches of ease at the hip yeah that that makes sense for me for this kind of application i think it depending on your fabric um if it is like a really really stiff structured denim you might like with no stretch to it at all you might consider sizing up um or like splitting the difference a little bit and maybe doing three and a half inches of ease um you can play around with ease a little bit whenever you use my fast fit workbook because you're kind of like 
backing into that decision a little bit um, and, and comparing rather than just kind of blinding picking a size, blindly picking a size. So if you don't have that yet, um, I encourage you to grab it. It really is super helpful in terms of knowing what size to make before you get going. Um, there's a link in the description box if you want to grab that. Okay, here is another really fun little cutout dress. We've been doing this a lot lately. I, I still really like them. Um, this is a Mrs. Dress with sleeve and length variations, knotted shirt dress with sleeve and length variations. Dress has a sideways cutout collar, collar stand, double yoke, front bands, and back invisible closure. Okay, so what we've got going on here is basically a really deep, you know, V top, and then you make almost like a, <laughs> a tie back for a curtain. <laughs> I know that's a weird analogy but that's that's what I'm seeing um and then that drapes you know from there on your body but you've got a little pretty a little pretty curved hem or and then short sleeves but this sleeve this sleeve is not it guys this is way 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 too small um and also the sleeve cap is too tall I'll I'll show if they show but better pictures of it I'll show you a little bit more of what I'm talking about that's that looks uncomfortable um but you have the long sleeve version and then you have this little like banded sleeve version which i am loving in this like tropical print that's really fun um are you you guys are probably asking would she wear it to target it depends on this this right here um this is fine to wear to target this is not fine to wear to target um I don't want my lower back out that much. I, I think we've talked about this before, right? In these types of designs where it's a little bit, mm, what's the word? Like fit here, if it's not, oh gosh, what am I trying to say? What I want it to be is for the line to come across like this, right? To do that, the fitting has to be spot on which i understand they're not going to achieve with a fit model we are better off achieving it at home because we can you know fit and tweak basically this is too this is too big so you would take a big wedge out of here and then all of this would come up more yes so i i have the feeling that i would be able to handle it on my own at home and be a little bit more comfortable just having like a little two inch gap here um but this this ain't it this is like way too paris hilton low-rise jeans it's giving me flashbacks and ptsd um okay so here's a more decent picture of the sleeve as well so the shoulder looks fine the shoulder comes out far enough the sleeve cap you know how sleeves are like a bell like this the shorter and wider the the bell is the less like fitted and tailored it's gonna look when your sleeve comes this far out it has to be pointier um to accommodate that taller arm side right think about if it were not so far out it would be a flatter arm side you kind of have to envision the bell becoming the tube okay um so what's happened here is i think they just got a little too aggressive with the balance of tailoring and um like the design maybe again if this were draft if this were made for the person who would be wearing it in the end that could be adjusted for sure you could do like a full bicep adjustment but this i don't think many of us would put this on and feel comfortable i think it feels a little bit like a sausage in a casing kind of thing um, so you would just need to like either take back, you need to do a little bit of work to this, um, to, to get it right. And on, and unfortunately arm size and sleeves fitting together is one of the more challenging, um, fitting issues that we come across. It's, it's hard to fix that. Um, the hope I have is that this version here is still really cute. Um, I don't know. I, I don't see myself making a long sleeve version of this but if you are think considering it i think like places like cashmere would have really good tutorials on like widening 
you know, your sleeve, enlarging your bicep, you know, things like that. Okay, so cotton blends, linen, poplin, and stable knits. Yeah, I'm also seeing it in like stable silky types. Um, think rayon poplins and, and things of that nature. Um, one, in, okay, so there were two invisible zippers, right? One for the top uh, and then one for the skirt. Um, even though they come together in the front, you still have to get into them separately. Um, and then buttons for the uh, button band on the cuff. Oh, okay. So this one, they chose to do 10 sizes, but they went down even further onto the bottom end of their um, size range. So four to 12 and then 14 to 20. Oh, man. I, I don't know which of these yet have the women's version. I'm a, oh, I don't know if that, if, oh, what am I trying to say? If this indicates, if having a size four indicates that they also have a women's version that's going to go up to, I think, 36, um, then this is fine. Otherwise, it feels like a choice maybe some subliminal messaging like this is only going to look good on skinny people and i don't think that that's their vibe and message anymore so i'm gonna have my fingers crossed that there is a women's version of this and then we have the full size range of 4 to 34 or whatever it is so we will we will see about that as we continue okay so body measurements against so the ease is what i'm trying to say um, three and a half inches in the bust. Yeah, it's like a loose-ish type of top. And then the hip has, there is no waist, literally. And the hip has nine and a half. So yeah, that makes sense. The fitting for this really isn't in the bust or the hip though. Um, both of those are, are pretty loose fitting. The, the fitting starts up here, all in your shoulders. And once you get this right, just like a hanger, like a bit in your closet, all this other stuff falls into place. All right, next we have, okay, good, good. Okay, then I think that that's what that means. When we see a, a misses in the size four, that is how we're gonna know that there's a women's companion to it and that it's gonna extend all the way to 38. So I wasn't right either time. Um, okay, so this is the women's version. I mean, I honestly, Maybe it's just me. I like these cutout dresses on curvier girls almost better than um, than when I see them on, like, you know, the models and stuff. But um, same exact thing, same description, same ease, same everything else. So we'll just quickly flip through the pictures here. I also wanted to see what they were doing with this for her. Because she's she can't wear a bra. I wonder if they did tape or something. They don't, I mean, she's young, right? Um, but they don't. They don't look saggy or bad. Obviously, if you have a fuller chest in addition to all your wonderful curves, I don't. I'm a pear, so I'm small on top, so I don't have to worry about that at all. But um, if you do, you would might maybe consider, I don't know, something through here so that you could still wear a bra with it? Hmm. Yeah, it would be like some decorative detail or maybe like a, not a button, but like a, uh, the elastic that goes over the little button, maybe something like that. Um, if you were going to try and cover this up, you can't really close it because um, of the, the, the knot. And you can't make the knot higher because um, then that would just be strange. I want to see what it looks like on the back for her. Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. That's much better. Okay, good. This does feel a gosh long this feels a little bit long i would shorten this and i would bring this up a little bit more but it's a lot better than it was in the missus size yeah and this sort of i don't know i don't love it in this fabrication it doesn't look really clean i don't love being able to see hems all the time either and i'm a little disappointed that they didn't well let me check my work for it. yeah they didn't um do two separate versions like they normally do now this sleeve does look a lot better so maybe that girl just has like no i don't think it was her the sleeve looked too small but this that one looks a lot better so i feel 
I mean, it is still a little bit tight. It is still pulling there, but it's a little bit better. So I don't feel as like, whoa, um, as I did looking at the Mrs. version. Okay, cotton blends, linen, poplin, all this is the same. Yeah, so. Okay, great. We don't have to spend a lot of time on that. Okay, cool. Now this is our first little menswear um, pattern. It is a knit shirt and shorts. This cool guy, men's knit shirts with exposed front zipper, have collar short sleeves and front pockets with bands. View A has a separating zipper. View B shirt has contrast on collar and hem bands. Pull on shorts with elastic and drawstring waistband have pockets and stitched hem. So this is giving me like Malibu Ken, <laughs> right? Which is very on trend for, trend for right now. Um, but I think this is like a terry or like even a, like a toweling type of fabric. So that's kind of cool. Um, the zip is a choice in the summer. Um, and this one fully unzips. So it's like a car, a short sleeve cardigan. Is that cool? Is that, yeah, that's cool. Especially if it's fitted like this. And then you have the pull on pant with the little drawstring little set. I think it's, it's cool. I'm thinking about my guy students, my male students in sewing class. Um, I think they could get behind this sometimes. And it's funny too, because we, as women do this too, like we look at something and we're like, that's way too like fashion. That's way too like, cool. I could never pull that off. The guys do it too. The guys absolutely do it too. Okay. And then we've got some little girl stuff. Um, and I didn't review the, the, well, I do actually want to see the, the fabric suggestions but I didn't look at the the sizing and the ease and all that because I honestly guys I just don't I don't know like I'm not I've never made menswear I don't I've never even looked at it I don't even know what to make of ease on a men's garment um but, so yeah they're suggesting French terry PK regular terry which is I think toweling and then velour yes okay yeah, there's some cool ones out there. Be careful, though, with your French terry. I wouldn't put any, any no ray on, right? It's got to be a little bit more structured than that. Okay, now we have a Mrs. Dress with sleeve and hemline variations. Very elegant. Empire waist dress with sleeve and hemline variations. Have shawl collar neckline, narrow hem, bias skirt, and invisible zipper. Wait, I'm going to read that one more time. Empire waist dress with sleeve and hemline variant. Have shawl collar neckline, narrow hem, bias skirt, and invisible zipper. This is really beautiful. This is one of the ones that I feel like is going to get overlooked because of the sample that they made. Um... But I think this could be super, super cool and chic and expensive. Doesn't that look like something you would see on the red carpet? This would be my holiday dress outfit a million times over. I think this is really, really, really beautiful. Uh, any special event, a wedding, a ceremony of some kind, like super pretty this this color and uh, even the fabrication a little bit just is a little dull right but I think it could be a real winner I hey those of you that are going to frock tales in New York City the the disco 70s studio 44 yes a thousand times yes all day long you guys should not all of you but if you don't know what you're making yet, this is this is what I would make a thousand percent. There's the back. Yeah, it looks really good. The fit looks really great. I have nothing to say about this other than how awesome it is. Yeah, really, really cool. Okay, Shally, crepe de chine, crepes, stable knits. Yeah, I really think you could go a lot of directions with this, um, especially because the skirt is cut on the bias. Um, you could do some really cool things with striped fabric. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Like, and like going back to the holiday theme, you know, something with a little bit of sheen to it would also be really cool. Invisible zipper and some elastic for the sleeve bands of B. Um, and then the bust is so full, they're not even giving finished measurements, but the waist has five inches of ease in it. So I'm thinking about that with regards to fabric suggestions. Like you could do, I wouldn't do something super structured, but you could do with like a crepe back satin, something a little bit heavier weight. Again, because it's cut on the bias. So it's not gonna stand away from you as much as you think. Not like it would be if it were cut on the straight grain. How much fabric does this take? I mean, not that much. Not that much, considering. A little more than three yards for the largest size on B. Yeah, okay. And then the hip has three inches of ease. That's actually a lot more close fitting. But again, remember the bias cut. The bias cut just changes everything. But I can see this in an ITY. I can see this, oh, so many things. Okay, now we have this little skirt. Oh, it's a learn to sew level one. Okay, learn to sew piping, bands, and buttonholes. And this is Mrs. Wrap Skirts pattern. Skirt in two lengths has hook and bar and button closures, back darts, interfaced bands, and tie. Level one, are we sure? That's a lot for a level one. But it is cute. Very much J. Crew. Um, you could even get away with like this. These are all different fabrics, right? They kind of look like different trims too. Oh, and see how they did it with the gingham here. Yeah, that's cool and fun. Darts and piping. Okay. Piping. I don't know. Piping. You know, like a special foot and stuff. Like that. That's bold for a level one, but okay. Maybe it's purchased by purchased piping no yes so that's a little bit better but you still i guess maybe are they using a zipper foot i guess so cotton blends crepe linen stable knits yeah i think she had some version of like a brocade or something even you could go really really structured with this for sure and it can't take much fabric like at all especially whenever it's so cut up like that um the contrast bands and ties are a yard and the skirt is a yard so yeah that makes sense and then if you're just doing it all on one that's a so one and i can't those numbers are way too small but yeah this is a cute little like uh, day to night vibe to me um i can see you wearing this to your little office with like a little jacket or cardigan and then when you need to go out on a date later or whatever you're doing like ditch the jacket and maybe put on a cooler jacket and and hit the town um yeah cute little mini skirt or like a longer pencil skirt i love it uh okay the waist has one inch of ease that makes sense and the hip has two and a half so a little tight in the hip um but you have you know your side seam side seam seam allowance that'll give you an extra inch so there's that, um, but I always have to rework the back pattern pieces anyways, because I'm that's where I'm the, the curviest. Okay, now we've got, what is this? Bodysuit, robe, short, and pants, and it's in Mrs. and Women's. They're showing us the women's first, so that's what we'll look at. Easy to sew, Mrs. Bodysuit, robe, shorts, and pants. Knit bodysuit has wide straps, contrast side panels, and snap tape closure. Robe has kimono style sleeves, belt, thread loops, side seam pockets, pull on shorts and pants have elasticized waist, contrast side panel and bands. Pants have side seam slits at the leg. Wow. This is for lounging? Like we're lounging in bodysuits now? Hmm. I don't know that I can subscribe to that necessarily. 
it's an interesting thought for sure. And also, this must be some kind of jersey because how do you... The robe looks structured, but the bodysuit has to, like, stretch a little bit. And also this little window of blocking, that feels strange, too. I... Hmm. <laughs> Let's see more pictures. And she's in the high heels, or the kitten heels, so that's a choice. It does fit really well and look really cute. I love the little, like, 50s vibe to it. Okay, the robe looks fine enough. Huh, yeah. Is Can it be a bathing suit? That's where my mind is going. I don't imagine lounging around in a bodysuit. I just, yeah, I can't imagine. And then you're supposed to put the shorts or the pants over it. So when you go to the bathroom, you have to take off your shorts or pants and then also take off the bodysuit. Oh, no, there's a snap. So I don't like snaps. This, I think, is really interesting concept and i'm here for the like let's try something you know vibe to it but i think people will buy it and then never make it that's gonna be my that's my prediction um 75 percent two-way stretch knits there's literally no way they used a stretch knit with 75 percent stretch to it for that robe It's just not drapey enough. Look at this sleeve. Oh gosh, so I'm, I just I get mad because of all the new sewists who read the that like fabrication is so tricky, like almost as tricky as fitting to a degree, and they read that that's what they go and buy, and they're expecting for it to look like this, and then it doesn't, and they don't know why. Oh, it's frustrating. Okay, so I don't think that that's what they used. If you want that vibe for your robe, you can do something with like 25% stretch. That looked like an art gallery knit collection to me, and those don't have that much stretch in them. So if you did that, you'd have to size up like two sizes in the bodysuit for sure. The robe maybe is generous enough, you know, no matter what the stretch percentage is. Um, and then for the pants... But yeah, they're not going to do finished garment measurements because there's so many for this. But depending on how loose fitting the pants are in the hip, you could probably you could get away with 25% there too. But the bodysuit, yeah, you just you'd have to size up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go look at the pictures of the Mrs. version. Does anyone recognize these prints? These knit prints? They do go remarkably well together, which is making me think that they, um, that's why it's part of a collection. Look at her little slippers, those are cute. Yeah, that's not 75% stretch. There's just no way. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh. No. The answer is no. I have not, I have no words. I'm almost speechless. That's bad. Like the, I was per, I was thinking the ease in the short was going to be like a lot more. That's snug. 
but again, it's a knit and they are anticipating you buying a 75% stretch knit. So a fitted, a, gosh, it's like almost like biker shorts though. And they're kind of low rise. Oh God. And the waistband is so like the lower rise you go, the narrow, na narrower, no, maybe not. I was going to say maybe the narrower the waistband should be because but maybe, yeah, I think I'm, I think, I think my, this has made my brain stop working. At least I didn't put her in high heels. I mean, the fit is pretty good considering, like, through the crotch and everything. It, it's just this and then this with the, all the, it's just a lot. My eyes are, like darting all over the place. They don't know what to look at. Wow. Okay. Okay, McCall's. I, I really was trying to, like, see the best in it, but those shorts are, those shorts are not. Uh, maybe, too, because I'm imagining my, like, thick thighs in them, and I'm just like, that's not gonna look cute. Okay, we have Mrs. Dress in two lengths with choice of three necklines. Please tell me this giraffe applique is part of this dress. That would be incredible. Pullover dress consisting of two main pieces plus facings in choice of two links. French darts at front, vents and side seams, front neckline baby round, square, or V-shape. That's really cool. The three necklines, that's like the... That's what's going to make the dress look the most different. I guess sleeves probably is the most, most different. But necklines is next to that. These are the French darts so french darts like i don't know are these american darts i don't know whatever standard traditional darts are these and then french come down this way i love a french dart and then you have this little side slit you can go mini you can go knee length and i'm gonna guess the giraffe is a print but like we need that in our lives yes yeah i love the three necklines and i love a shift dress i really do Let's see the, well, it couldn't really get much simpler than that, right? Wow. Okay. So A, C, and D, A, what? Hold please. A, D, E, B, C, F. A, B, C, D, E, F. What? Oh, the links. Okay. Forgive me if, if my, like, OCD is kicking in too much, but doesn't it make sense that A and F would be A and B? And then this would be C and D? And then this these would go together? Uh, this is this, the, my, yeah, I don't, I, but <laughs> I can't even talk weird that that was very confusing okay so they're basing it off okay single border print fabrics in a c and d which were the shorter ones this is so confusing like where b and c so confusing anyways um and then B, E, and F. Okay, so that's the one that had the, the giraffe on it, okay? The other one is denim, linen, oxford cloth, PK, printed cotton, synthetics, terry cloth, and ticking. I bet you guys don't even know what half of that stuff is. Okay, so is it... Okay, I know of mattress ticking. Is that the same? Is it like the railroad denim looking stuff? Terry cloth is like the towel kind of. At least it has the loops on the back. The front of it can be different. Synthetics, I mean, as if that's not broad. Printed cottons, okay, we can handle that. PK, you, that's something you can type in really easily. PK is a little bit more structured. Oxford's like a shirting, and then you have denim and linen. What are the, I can't possibly imagine what the, what the um, ease is. So, oh, we've also got alphanumeric sizing, and you only get small, medium, and large. 
So this goes from an 8 to an 18. Oh, what's the point? I don't understand. Like, oh, God. Okay, so we have 31 to... So they're saying 8.5 inches of ease in that bust. And I can't even really tell because it's an illustration. I, this is why I can't do the vintage stuff. Like, it's I too many questions. Because um, they're also telling me 15 inches of ease in the waist. Seriously. And then the hip is going to be 6. Okay, cool. That makes zero sense. Even I'm confused. And that, that just I just check out at that point. I'm like, meh. I mean, cool idea. Simple enough. But I don't have the time. Vintage 1950s sewing pattern midriff dress with four gore gathered skirt. Dang. Midriff is... Oh, gosh, this is when it gets confusing. Midriff is seamed to bodice back. Midriff is seamed to bodice back. Front midriff is faced and included in side seams and waistline seam only. Oh, gosh. Complete front bodice under midriff. Does this make sense to any of you? Corded piping and waistline seams, small collar, back neck opening, and left side... Zipper placket, short set in sleeves, optional rick rack trim. I don't know. I don't know any. I, that was like reading another language. I have no idea what all that meant. That this is attached to this and this is attached to something else. Very confusing. Okay. Cat. Yeah. Calico. Yeah, chalet, gingham, linen, polished cotton, poplin, printed silk, or cotton, and then synthetic mixtures. <laughs> wow. Do, they don't update this? They don't update that? Um, that's a surprise. Zippers, hook and eyes, rick rack, cable, cording, piping, bias tape, like all the things. Um, 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 on the size range. And then finished measurement wise, the bust is supposedly four and a half inches of ease. Um, and the waist has one and a half inches of ease. So yeah, they're really going for the hourglass, right? Okay, now we have this little caftan with like ruching. That's so dynasty. The show, the era, the 80s. Easy to sew caftan in two lengths as ruched front with drawstring that ties at the bottom, V shaped neckline, dolman sleeves, and narrow hem. Do you see caftan has contrast on the left side? Oh, I get it. Uh huh. So this is the same little cording detail that we you've seen it before, just in smaller applications. There was like a skirt that had it on the thigh. There's been shirts that have it go up the center or the sides. Um, it's really, really, really easy to do. And you can let this out and then make it a long dress or cinch it up and make it short. So it's nice for like tropical climates because you can give yourself the ventilation if you need it or like let it out a little bit too. But this is the contrast one. I, I don't love the contrast fabrics they chose, but you know, dolman sleeve, v-neck. Um, yeah, straightforward enough. I, mm, I don't, I guess it, I can't see it as not dressy, but Dressy also doesn't feel right to me either, but I don't, what else is there? If there's, if it's not dressy or dressy, what is it? I, I, I'm getting like nightclub-y vibes from this one, which that feels, that feels good. So yeah, like dressy, but not like I'm going to go to the work dressy or I'm going to go to an event or a party. It's, it's, it's going out close. And also, like, the illustration giving us, like, all of this, like, looking like draping, but on her, maybe they just didn't distribute these. Well, I don't know. I don't feel like it's translating correctly on her. 
maybe it's because how she's standing. Because over here, it kind of looks like it's trying to do what the illustration is, but this is not. Right? Doesn't it look like it's trying to give Grecian goddess vibes? I'm not getting Grecian goddess of any kind from her. In fact, here, it just looks like a normal dress. So maybe it's too big? I don't know. I don't know. It's an easy enough concept, though. You could probably apply that to, like, any shift dress that you have. Any, any, like, caftan type dress that you have. Um... Maybe the fabric's too structured. There's a lot that goes into it. They're recommending Shally, Crepe, Georgette, and Stable Knits. I don't, I don't, I think opposite of Stable Knits. I was picturing like a bamboo rayon. I'm not getting like a Stable Knit vibe from that. I thought it, yeah, no, this, this is, this is not thought out enough. Or maybe it is and then just wasn't executed well for the for the model. I don't know. Either way. Three and a half inches of bees in the bust, ten in the waist. That feels like a lot. And then six, oh, six and a half in the hip. Yeah, I guess that's why I thought I thought it was knitted. Um this is giving me like fitted knit vibes for what it's worth it also uh, it would be a good option for the frocktails thing too but i do think that um it needs some work on the fit i think it needs to be smaller and out of some kind of drapier knit yeah that's that's my vote for this i don't see this in a in a chalet um or I guess you, I mean, what am I trying to say? You can sit, you can make it out of whatever you want, right? You can make it out of the chalet. But I think the, the, what's throwing me is that this and this are not the same. This is, these are two different outfits. So that's what's confusing me. If this was the intention, then do the things that I was suggesting. If you like the way this looks, by all means, just make it as it is. Okay, we've got a men's vest. Oh, okay. All right, well... There are men going to like real office jobs again. Some, not all, kind of just like women. Um, vest, a tie, a shirt, and a bow tie. Wow, that really kind of captures it all, huh? The vest looks amazing. The shirt, mm, it's a shirt. It's a shirt, but yeah, I guess the fit on the shirt is appropriate. It feels a little, I keep going back and forth, I'm sorry. It feels a little big through the arm, like baggy, like especially over here. Maybe the fabric wasn't behaving. You can tell like some stylist ran up and like tucked this in a weird way. And I think that's also throwing me. It's just unnatural the way it's laying currently. Oh, that's a skinny bow tie. Oh, and it has um, the openings for the cuff links. Yep, that's the vest. Cool. All right. Two very different looks for the men. Um, we have costumes, costumes, costumes and scrubs. Shopping cart bags and coupon case for adults? What? You like categorize it as you're shopping? Can you imagine showing up to the food store with this thing? Excuse me, excuse me. I've got to get my, I got a rainbow order, first of all, because they're different lengths. And then what? Like the guy checking you out is supposed to follow this system that you made up? <laughs> And then what? And then what? Okay, let's see this all the way through. You get to your car. Oh, they have the shoulder strap. So, but where'd the poles go? Where are you putting the poles? Where are the poles? Something's hard in here holding this up, right? You think I just don't notice that they're just gone magically and you're walking out the store, no problem? My vision is 
I'm getting to my car and I'm lifting this like this parallel bar situation that's freaking full of stuff. This is wild. It's like somebody went to like South Korea or something. Cause you know how they're like into the, the into all the like really interesting organizational stuff that maybe makes no sense and is super impractical, but they they go with it anyways. This, however, this isn't a terrible idea. This little caddy for your coupons as you're going through the store. I kind of like that. This though, this feels like a practical joke. Please, 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 please. If you ever, if you ever let me know, I will invest in all the materials for to make that happen for somebody out in the world just to get the videos of them scooting through the food store, doing the checkout, trying to convince the checkout bagging guy, you know, explain to him your system. I want to see you get to your car. Like I will support the making of this financially, but I need the content in return. <laughs> tote bags and then these were the early summer um sometimes they do come out with some really cute little bags McCall's does um anyways that is going to do it for I love that one for the summer collection of McCall's what do you guys think um I want to say we had some really fun fun things happening um is it this one yeah um, I said, um, about a million times. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to like do things and talk at once. Okay. So I think, yes, there were definitely some memorable ones. This one for sure stands out. This one, I don't have anywhere to wear it to, but if you do this, this should be for sure on your shopping list. If you have those kinds of events that you're going to still, um, this one I think is cute and practical and I would wear it to target and all kinds of different places. I think the low V maybe makes me nervous but I think we could find a way around that loved the jeans pattern loved it um I really liked Brandy's Brandy's um bodysuit this I don't I just this I'm not sure about investing the time to make it but it is really it's a cool concept and it's really cute And then the craft corner and the costumes. I can't even. Why did they make a full page of that girl? Oh, gosh. And then here are the know me peeps that I'm not supposed to see. Ah. I didn't even know Erica was a know me designer now. Oh, spoiler alert. Okay. So, regardless, that is it. That is the um, McCall's collection for summer. Um, I am dying to know what you guys think. Um, I know I said some really <laughs> funky things throughout this review. If one of them made you laugh, let me know. That always makes me smile. Um, let me know what patterns you're considering getting or if you saw something in a different light. I get a lot of messages from you guys about that too. Like, I didn't think I liked anything and then I heard you talking about it and, you know, I added two or three to my list. So let me know if that happened. Um, or if it went the other way, like I thought I liked something and then you pointed out an issue that I didn't consider. That happens also too. Just whatever thoughts and comments you have about the commentary, the patterns themselves, you know, would love to hear it. That's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thanks so much. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.